Hi guys, and welcome to the first LPG Tube podcast. Woohoo! Woohoo! We're going to give this a try. We don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't even listen to podcasts. This is my first listening podcast. It will be when you listen back to it. Yeah. Right now, you're not listening to it. I've well, never you heard are. a podcast. What's a podcast, Cheeky? A podcast is something that casts from your iPod, because we are back in the day. We don't have an iPod. Correct. Is this a Samsung cast? Yes. Samcast. Let's call it a Samcast. Okay. First ever Samcast. Woohoo! Yay! All right, so... Yeah, uh, we're LPG Tube. We have a YouTube channel for those of you who don't know. Although, if you found this and you don't know about the YouTube channel, congratulations. That's quite the achievement because I have no idea how you found this. I don't <laughs> even know if this is out in the public yet. We'll find out. <laughs> Yay! Um, so, yeah, we have a, a, a gaming channel on YouTube, don't we? Yes. The two of us play, play games, have play a bit of fun. is not quite what we do. We fail. We fail a lot. We do. Uh, we used to fail a lot more. We we, we, we're getting a bit we're better. We're getting gradually better over time. Not, we're not great yet, but we're getting a bit better. We're not saying we're getting more entertaining, we're just saying we're getting slightly better. Oh yeah, games. we're getting better at the games. We're not getting better at the <laughs> hosting Yeah, we're, the games. we're not entertaining at all. So yeah, this is going well. <laughs> but you should go and check it out because who yeah. needs to be entertained all the time? If exactly. you do, then there's a problem If with you it. feel like feeling better about yourself by feeling worse about us, then we're the people for you. Yeah, we make you look good at games. Yeah, we make well, you look good Chico in any way. Chico makes you look good at games. Yeah. I'm quite awesome. Yeah, oh, you're sort of awesome. So... What's been happening in the world of games recently? We've had E3. We have had E3. Um, but that was about a fortnight ago, maybe. Yeah, but you know, it's it's still it's still relevant. There's yeah, still quite a lot going on. It's still um, relevant. We're still waiting for all the Switch games to come out. I'm surprised there wasn't a Mario Party announced. I'm not. Um, there's enough. Th- I, th- I thought there was enough Mario. I know, but I really like Mario Party. Yeah, but it was nice to see that Mario Odyssey's finally got some sort of footage. It looks really good. Yeah, you know what? It looks a lot better than I expected. Yeah, it to. I know. Um, yeah, it didn't. It didn't look great in the old trailers. Yeah, the old trailers were just kind of experimental. I think. I think they were just testing the waters with that to see how people would feel about the new areas and stuff. This kind of makes me feel of Galaxy with a throwable yeah. hat. Yeah, yeah. There's a bit that worries me that feels a bit Sonic 06-y, which anyone who's watched Game Grumps knows about Sonic 06. You haven't watched them ones, but I hate basically, Sonic. yeah, exactly. So you wouldn't watch these. But Sonic 06 was famously a terrible game because it, it looked it just looked bad was it, it didn't play ET well of our generation? it was unfinished at least et was finished was et finished well i don't know it ended up in a desert it's pretty finished to me yeah um but anyway yeah so mario odyssey looks pretty cool um the mario ubisoft rabbits game <gasps> mario rabbits that was end of august one hell of a so surprise excited. I, the last the very last person i expected to see at the ubisoft conference was your man miyamoto he, he just he walked on dressed like a Mario and he had one of the fake guns in there. Have they ever collabed before? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, they might have. Don't don't quote me on it, but I don't think they have. Yeah, but, he's um, gonna have to go check that out. Yeah, he was saying that the reason they did it was because he wanted to uh, have a fresh view on he Mario. He wanted a Mario game that wasn't a Mario game, didn't yeah, he say? Exactly. So he, said, he, he said, gave it to them and was like, "Here's Mario." Yeah, exactly. He wanted a, a fresh a fresh pair of eyes, as it were, onto the Mario series just to see what had happened because. Over the years, there's been times when Mario has stagnated. I refused to play Mario at one point. That sort of Mario's awesome. Yeah, but when it got you to call like call yourself a gamer. <laughs> when it got to the um, was it 3D Land? One of them. They were really good. I, I didn't. I, I, there was one of them that I really liked, but one of the other 3D ones I really didn't like. I liked the cat one. What was the cat one? Yeah, I liked that one. The one before that I didn't like though. Um, the cat one was good. I think that was 3D Land. The cat one's amazing. I think it was Super Mario Brothers Wii U that I didn't like. Um, I don't know why. Because it, it, I didn't like it. It just wasn't good. I didn't enjoy on multiplayer, especially when you jump on people's heads instead of jumping through them like you normally would. That really annoyed me. It's like it read it one layered. Uh, so that was kind of frustrating. I think the last good Mario game, as in great Mario game, was yeah. Galaxy, though. Um, though Galaxy came with a DVD to teach you how to play Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, that was back when Nintendo thought we were actually stupid. And it gave us Nintendo a... knew as well. <laughs> yeah, they did know as <laughs> Nintendo well. watched our videos. We didn't watch their DVD, though. <laughs> we did not watch their DVD. But, I mean, what kind of... I, I do not understand what kind of marketing move that was. Who do you floated that? <laughs> yeah, do you think, honestly, do you think they just had a surplus of DVDs? Because remember, the Wii U didn't use DVDs. It used a, a bespoke Nintendo disc. I don't know what they were called, but it was they had the nice round edges. I like them discs. But um, Mario Galaxy wasn't Wii U. Mario Galaxy was Wii. Oh, sh- yeah, it was, wasn't it? On they the were Wii. just like, we're going to make a film. Yeah. Okay, well, in that case, screw them. I have no idea what they were thinking. Because you don't need an instructional DVD for Mario. Do you Mario. think we're too thick to read a booklet? I mean, nobody reads the booklet anyway. But you know what made it even funnier was it was Mario Galaxy 2 that came with the DVD. Didn't the first one come 
Maybe. I'm probably wrong here. You're probably wrong. Yeah, because um, that wouldn't make sense. Even Nintendo Bob wouldn't Cuts do that. When did stop being in games? Um, I think it was sort of PS4, Xbox One time. And are we blaming all the people that are like, ooh, save the planet? I think we're also blaming people who get digital downloads. So, I th- honestly, I think physical copies are now seen as a secondary method. Sadly. Um, physical are the best copies? They are because to us. why would I spend... Like fifty pound on a digital copy when I can spend forty five pound on a physical copy, and when I'm finished with it, trade it in yeah. or sell it to a friend. I mean, until dawn, love until dawn. Cost me about two or three pounds to play because I bought it pre-owned. Yeah, I played it and then I sold it to a friend. Yeah, it was easy. Made enough. like a two three pound loss. In fact, yeah, do you remember E three? Uh couple of years ago when PlayStation did that little video about how to share games with friends because they're taking the piss out of Xbox because you couldn't share with them at that point because they were saying the next console, no game sharing. So PlayStation, was it like a 10 second video? I don't remember. I remember the Xbox being like, but people with Xbox don't have friends. <laughs> they true. don't need to share. That is true. We are impartial at OPG Tube except for we're not. Um, <laughs> but not at E3. We have an Xbox. We, we do. It's been used several times. Several, <laughs> maybe a couple. No, no, been used a couple. Honestly, I think maybe six, maybe six times. I, I've, I've used when I've, I was out of the house. Yeah. is this your dirty little secret? It's my dirty little secret. I've played Halo some on a couple people, of occasions. Some people pawn. Some people you Halo. Why not both? <laughs> Halo pawn. Halo pawn. Is, is caught for those of you out there. Homework assignment: Is there any Cortana pawn? We don't want links, but we Where want images. Bukake <laughs> Mario. Really? Remember we've seen that picture. Bukake Mario. Yeah, remember we were um, we were titling one of our episodes. Oh god, Bukake yeah. Mario. All I remember is seeing a a, a, a work colleague look alike. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember Mario. Oh god, I mean, but we, we won't we won't mention the work colleague. But there was that's because a... we've not even mentioned it to her because you're chicken. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're scared. I know. I, you would be too. Um, no, but it's yeah. Um, Mario Mario Bukake is a thing apparently. But then again, Rule Thirty Four, everything's a thing. Uh, is that a Reddit thing? I don't know. I don't know where these rules come from. Uh, I said it the, the other day in work and nobody had a clue what I was talking about. Um, but that's the power of the internet. Not everybody uses it that much. You work at a game dev company. Yeah, Surely you, they should be all You geeks. would be surprised. <laughs> um, I'm not surprised. I went to the sports day. Yeah, yeah that's it. A game dev sports day. Not just nerdy guys in glasses that can't run a meter. <laughs> that's exactly these what guys, it was. <laughs> these guys were ripped. Oh yeah, those them guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, guys, just so you know, in the games industry, it's not what you think it is. It's not how South Park would show it. It's, it's not two kinds of people. Yeah, it's and literally two. There's no in between. It's like you've either got overweight, sad-looking guys who are boarding with glasses, aka me, or you've got the jocks. Or you've got the jocks. <laughs> and so, when they have the parties, they don't mix. Yeah, we don't mix because you've got the guys who are either they're absolutely beyond ripped. And they are ripped, aren't they? I mean, it's not like... That welly, that welly was tossed. Yeah, that welly's still in the sky. <laughs> there, there, there was a welly tossing contest, and one of my old leads, who's quite well ripped, isn't he? He's, a, you know... Also won the sack race. Yeah, he also and won the, the sack race. Space. And the egg and, I, yeah, the egg and egg space race. The egg and space <laughs> race. <laughs> what the hell is the egg and space I race? Was really, I thought I had the egg and spoon race. Yeah, so did I, but you, you just... I can't remember what happened, but I know you didn't win. I was too slow. <laughs> too slow. <laughs> like, I thought I have got the, the balance. Element. I can get through this. Yeah. And they had the balance and speed. Yeah, see, that's, it is kind of a two-part game. You can't just go for one or the other. Um, but anyway, enough of egg and spoons. Back to E3. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we liked what Nintendo have done. We've just established this. We liked Ubisoft and Nintendo crossover. Right, what's your game from E3? My game from E3, even though it was... Oh, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll say my safety option game would be Assassin's Creed Origins. Even though it was leaked a bit beforehand, just the name and stuff. But then seeing... I watched some gameplay footage as well. And it's really refreshing to see that they've taken sort of a note out of The Witcher 3's book with with, with regards to how to properly plot out a game and stuff of that style without it getting boring. Ooh. I know. I love the Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> I love the Assassin's Creed games. You don't love you no more. They do love me. They love me lots. No, I'm not loudly listening to this video. <laughs> they ain't listening. But um, no, I, I really liked I'm super looking forward to that. And also, um, I am looking forward to Anthem. I'd never heard of it before this point. I still haven't heard of it because I've not watched all the conferences. Yeah, it was on... Um, whose conference was it? I think it might have been Xboxes or Playstations. It was one of them main ones. I don't think it was Playstation because I watched the whole of Playstation, so right. I either forgot it or it wasn't on it. Yeah, well, it was, on, it was on one of the main ones. But either way, it was basically... It looks kind of like... Do you remember... Um, oh, what's that game called that I got? Xenoblade Chronicles X? Yes. I got that. It looks really nice. It's like... 
it feels kind of like that, but a more realistic version. So basically, you have like mech suits uh, type things, like Iron Man, basically. Yeah, Iron Man, you go out and explore. Um, things aren't safe outside the walls. So you go out and you hunt things and whatever, then you come back and live happy. It feels like my kind of game, basically. Because um, <laughs> you get to live behind a wall. Yeah, and they, they did the usual, sadly, they did the usual E3 sort of blatantly acting, let's play co-op, you're my buddy. Hey, how's the new gun treating you? That's Matt's what we okay. Do. Yeah, but yeah, but we <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we definitely don't have a script because if we did, it'd be so much better. <laughs> um, no, it was, it, I really wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they just have people playing, preferably people who don't work on it, just playing the game and doing a mission or something, you know, rather than having actual actors do it. I'm free next year. If exactly. you want me to go and play, yeah, exactly. So uh, I'll play. Guys who make anthem, I can't remember who makes it, but guys who make anthem, listen up. Any of you, I'll even go to the Dirty Xbox. Dirty, dirty Xbox. Dirty Xbox. You know what I was really looking forward to, and I'm still really looking forward to, and I refuse to watch any of the gameplay footage? What? Nino Kuni 2. Nino Kuni 2, yeah. I they did, did a 30 minute gameplay segment, and I have not watched it. Yeah, I didn't see and that. And I will not watch it because I just want to experience my game when it see, comes See, I out. saw that it's got an honourable mention on a lot of websites because it wasn't really focused on E3. No, I think it just had its own like thing. They didn't include it in any of the talks, which right. was kind of upsetting because I thought we'd see a trailer in PlayStation. And yeah, then when it ended nice. with that one, I was like, what the hell, PlayStation? Yeah. What the hell? Well, speaking of what the hell and announcements and no trailer, um, Jumping back to Nintendo for a second, they had a Metroid splash screen. Yeah, not a big Metroid fan. No, I, I don't mind that Metroid, but I, I was impressed at the fact that they have the balls to just show a splash screen, and that's it. Do you remember the Metroid demo that you could get when the oh, 3DS the came out? On yeah. the DS, the oh, first was, one, the, yes, the fat grey one, yeah, I remember that. What was with that? Just That was the only game to have a cartridge demo. Yeah, I think it's because it was a brand new console, so they had to show this is how the games come. You know, don't buy any yet, but it has how they look. Because if you remember, I'm pretty sure the DS had a pretty bad launch originally. Oh, no, no, the DS had an amazing launch. The very first one. Yeah, I thought it had a bad launch. It was sold out everywhere, right. and in its launch games, it had WarioWare, which was amazing. Oh, that's it pretty... showed off yeah, the equipment. And it had Mario 64, which granted we'd already wow. played on the 64. Yeah, but... but still, that's a hell of a game to put um, on first. So I can't remember, I think it was about five games at launch. You know what? And I decided on release day I wanted yeah. one. So we saw that everywhere anyway, but that's what I do. So I just went yeah, from shop to shop to shop. It's sort of your method for Nintendo consoles. <laughs> Finally found one, uh, Virgin Megastore, by the way. Wow, showing your age. Yeah, exactly. For um, those of you children who don't know, Virgin Megastore was a place we used to exchange stone coins. And in, in exchange for these stone coins, they would give us really old games. Games. It's they were new at the time, but were really old. Five pounds used to be paper. Five English pennies. And pound coins <laughs> used to be round. Yes. Yeah. They were round back um, before Trump, before they were all painted grey. So, yeah, I went getting that, and um, I was looking round still, and they... No, no, I found it somewhere else first, maybe game. Right. And they only had, like, a shitty game that I didn't want. Project Rub, maybe? That was a release Project game, Rub? I think. Project Rub? I forgot about that. And Rub yeah. Rabbits? Uh, Rub were... Rabbits wasn't, obviously, because that was a sequel. They were great games, though. They were really good. What happened to them? Because I remember seeing... It, it a... was, like, the softest core porn ever. Kind and of. I think that's what it, it was just silhouettes, parents wasn't it? didn't want to buy it. Yeah. And Plus, adults... Rub Rabbits. If you, ask, if you ask your mother for a Rub Rabbit, she's like, I've got one, you ain't having one. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so... I found it in one shop and then then I went to Virgin Megastar and they had the two games I wanted. Yeah. Um, so I hadn't been interested until release day and my brother bought one and he was like, hey, look at my new console and he had WarioWare on it and I was like, I need to go buy one of them. Yeah, you do. And that was back in the day when I didn't have rent and responsibilities and all the money I earned was yeah. just my own money to spend on whatever the hell I wanted. <laughs> They were good days. They were good days. I I, uh, I I say I missed those days, but I never had those days, so I, I bet you missed those days. <laughs> I, I worked 14 hours a week. Oh, um, you poor baby. I went to college, and I worked 14 hours okay, a week. Okay, yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. And my parents had paid for all my like transport and food and stuff at college, yeah. so my 14 hours a week was me money. Oh, fair enough. Um, which meant I was like a proper little rich kid, because I wasn't really rich, but because I was like, what? I don't know what money is these days. Say it was five pound an hour. You don't know what money is. So let's say I don't know. Let's say I was getting paid seventy pound a week. Yeah. I was probably getting more than that. I don't know. Um, but that was seventy pound a week to just spend on whatever the hell I wanted. <laughs> so you know what? If I wanted a three DS, I didn't have to save up. No, not a three DS. I'd have had to save up for a three DS. They were expensive. Um, DS. I was just like, I'm just gonna buy it. Um, well, that's a good way to go about things. If you want it, get it. You know. Don't steal it. Yeah, don't steal it. You wouldn't steal a car. 
you wouldn't steal a handbag. <laughs> Why would you steal a 3DS? That's not really the same message, is it? <laughs> I, I remember once buying a Creative Zen with my week's worth of money that week. Um, <sighs> do you remember the Creative Zen? Like, was I say iPods, huge... but not iPods. Yeah, but... was that that huge Zoom? Like, it was basically a hard drive, but you could plug it your earphones amazing. into it. Yeah. Yeah, I remember them. They were massive. Creative was totally the best brand because they had small ones as well. You say um, that, but the speakers behind me on my PC are Creative, and two of the buggers have just died. <laughs> and I am pissed off. Well, Creative used to be awesome. Now, th- th- to be fair, they are a pretty good company. Um, I-, I do, I like what they do uh, because they always seem to be like on the cheaper side, but quality is always all right, you know. Um, but yeah, I-, I I thought it was brave of them to go into the MP3 player market because it was quite a saturated market at that point. I remember but because I like... almost got a pebble if you remember them. Oh God, you ever expensive? Yeah, well, I almost I almost got credit for the first time for one of them because I thought it'd be a good idea because one of my friends told me he's getting one and this is how like how you've got no money. He says, yeah, but I got to do this thing right where you can get it now. <laughs> And all you have to do is pay it before six months. I was like, well, that sounds doable. <laughs> and August went, no, you're not having credit. See, <laughs> that's like, oh, the okay. different grow-up things, isn't it? Because my parents like, here we go, we'll pay for the insert and stuff. If you want to work a few hours, you can keep that money. Well, see, I had a job. And you you were paying but... rent and being an adult. <laughs> well, see, yeah, this was, <laughs> this was my friend from work who decided he was doing this. In fact, we went after a shift. It's when I worked at the pub. Uh, we went after a day shift, and he's like, I'm going to go get an MP3 player. So, you know what? So am I. <laughs> Let's go see what this thing is. And I'd admit, I didn't know about credit at that point. So, you know, it was, it was interesting to find out you can actually have things and not pay for them. See, I was like... But you can't. I found out you can't. Don't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. I, I'm so glad well, I didn't. they wouldn't give you the credit. Yeah, but if I did do it, I'd probably still be trying to pay it off now, because I wouldn't have paid it back in the six months. See, like, five mile down the road, me and my friends living at large, we were all just turning up and being like... <laughs> Yeah, flashing. Yeah, for, for anyone that didn't know, know I was making it rain. She's making it rain. <laughs> making it rain, folks. Uh, right, yeah, back back to E3. What was your biggest disappointment of E3? Of what you saw? Because I know you didn't watch it all. I didn't really watch a lot of it, so I don't really have a disappointment. Yeah. Um, I just had happy things. Well, fair enough. I, I enjoyed the majority of what I saw. Detroit was a happy thing. Yeah, Detroit was a nice surprise for you, because that was a lot more gameplay footage I thought yeah. you'd see. Yeah, because last year last I Last year was asleep just a teaser, wasn't it? Oh, season. yeah, you fell asleep during it, yeah. <laughs> Got typical. She woke up, right? And I said to her, so which one are you looking forward to most? She was, she was like, I, I don't know. I was asleep. <laughs> so, oh, well, this will be cool. And this will be cool. And this will be cool. And they all sounded good to you, didn't they? But you'd been asleep. Yeah. So. Was Detroit, was it like on a balcony? At some yeah, that's point? right. It was but on a balcony. That's I think, the bit I, think, I saw. I think you were like sort of a um, negotiator trying to release a hostage from one of these cyborgs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, you're like, I, how do I do this? I didn't know if they were a cyborg. Well, I think they are. I think that's what the idea is. I think. I think oh, that's, yeah, well, it's. They're all, all meant to be like AI people. It's a whole aren't butterfly they? thing, isn't it? Is it, right? Yeah, I can't. I can't remember. Properly. It's like the next Until Dawn, but not a horror film. Yeah, but not made by uh, Until Dawn people. And I'm expecting actual choices that will matter. I mean, Until Dawn mattered in the fact that different people, amounts of people died and there were different people. But Yeah, but it was quite finite, wasn't it? It didn't it was really like, matter. Yeah, you could have killed some of them multiple times, but technically it didn't let you kill them until it was their time to yeah, die. Yeah, kind of, yeah. It was kind of guided. It was linear, but... You tried Not, to kill you know, Emily, like, yeah, every Yeah, I hated chance. Emily. I really hated her. I tried to actively kill her, and eventually she bitch died. But, but I almost saved her. <laughs> my main problem was Emily's boyfriend, because, like, obviously he died, and I was quite good, because I liked Emily's boyfriend, hated yeah. Emily. And then the second time I was playing it through, I was like, oh god, who's meant to keep the gun? Who's meant to keep the gun? It's not a spoiler, there's a gun at one point. And oh, yeah. it, depending on who keeps the gun yeah. is whether he lives or dies, and I'm going, oh shit. Who's meant to keep the gun? And I killed him again. <laughs> you are a fool, young lady. Killed him again. Um, but yeah, so disappointments that Emily lived, but disappointments about E3. See, I got it back on track. Uh, I'm so go on, such a good host. Such a such such appointments. So disappointments. Am, am I am I the um, person who's being interviewed? You're being quiet. No, we're no we're, we're co-hosts. Oh, co-hosts. So co-hosts, but I'm a good host. But you're the one that's got the producer whispering in your ear saying, get back on point. Yeah, pretty much. That producer's called schizophrenia. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it's just me in a little voice. Slightly <laughs> scary. I'm going, do it. Put it back on track, you stupid pleb. Um, <laughs> Shut her up. Stamp on her foot. <laughs> Kick her. Kick her hard. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> but no, uh, for me, the biggest disappointment I saw was the Bethesda conference, which I don't think you watched. They went. They decided Ooh, for whatever reason. Did it have reason, Evil Within 2 on it? Uh, yes, that it wasn't good. It it's hard to tell. I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. But um, Bethesda decided to go for like a Nintendo Direct approach. 
So rather than have a big conference... You told me this. Actually, yeah. They had a video. Yeah, they had a conference, like full conference room, full of people who were there to see Bethesda. Guy came on and said, yo, what's up, GM, whatever from Bethesda. Play. <laughs> video <laughs> went on. And then like half an hour later, whatever it was, video finished. So they basically called everybody into the hall to watch a Nintendo Direct style video. And then came back out at the end and said, bye. Yeah, people do that at the cinema all the time. Yeah, it's called a film. <laughs> but I mean, this is different. E3, if you're in that hall feeling that excitement and then somebody hits play and walks off, that bubble is burst. That you know. cannot recover that audience. Sometimes you just want to see the shit that's on the screen. Yeah, that is true. But at the same time, I really like the buzz of that environment. I've never been to it, but you can always feel it in the feeds. Um, but, but during that Bethesda video, there was sadly nothing really good. I mean, they, they showcased a bit of Fallout 4 VR. Skyrim VR? Pardon? Skyrim oh, VR. Yeah, see, that's another thing. I was excited to hear about that. And then you when probably they sh- look shit, didn't you? Yeah, when they, like, when, they showed, when, they, when they showed gameplay footage, it reminded me of, you know when you first start seeing mobile versions of like FPSs and stuff, where it looks kind of familiar, but it looks like a really dumbed-down version? Like, that's what the, the Skyrim VR felt like. It felt like you don't actually move you sort of you maybe you teleport somewhere well, start yeah, whacking a move, tiger you? well you can yeah you can do there are games where you can move in vr and it's not too bad like resident evil 7 for example you can move around in that fairly comfortably oh, yeah 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 Cause because we're not that's actual movement shitty weeping doll. yeah oh god yeah let's not start on weeping doll uh, weeping doll's getting reviewed <laughs> it's getting reviewed oh yeah for those of you who don't know whilst we're on the topic of reviews the lovely charlie over here has got her own flagship channel look at this smiley Woo! face it's called play pause review with a w and then pause. As in pause, like a kitty like a, cat. Like a kitty cat pause. That's a play on words, you see, because in video games you can hit pause. Cats have pause. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Charlie's nickname, pause. Yep. That's, that, in case you didn't know what you need to, I don't know, but now you do. Play, um, pause, review. Play, pause, review. So yeah, uh, first review is up. It's Jump Stars, isn't it? Which it we is. played on the channel. Yeah, the we way. also played it at EJET last we did. year, we, and they well, were kind it, yeah. enough to send us a copy, yeah, Exactly. So we enjoyed it so much, we are like, here you go. Yeah, so Jammy Games, thank you once more, and Curve Digital. Um, um, and, and something else, Blimp it, oh, the studio's changed names, this is why we're Jam having it. so... No, Jammit has changed names. Really? That is why we're having, No, that is why we're struggling so much to find information on Jammit right. Games. Right, I didn't know the, this. The, like, Blimp Games or something, okay, well, I don't know. Well, thank you, former Jammit, rest in peace. Hello, yeah, Blimp. <laughs> exactly the same staff. Yeah. Um, the website looks exactly the same. Uh, it's just got a like different a tax, name. That sounds like a tax dodge to me if I've ever had one. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, do you it was a bad Indiegogo? Do you not... reckon it was a bad, uh, like, Indiegogo? No, thing? because we're not. But it doesn't seem like they've ditched it. Right. It just maybe somebody came up with the name Jamit and we're like, yeah, we'll go with it. And maybe they're just like, no. And maybe they realise there's like 10 other companies called Jamit. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, but anyway, thank you guys. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, well, that's just and shit all over your name. Um, yeah, it's been reviewed and it's actually got more views so far than the gameplay video. <laughs> that's not a lot of views. Hey, you stick that head up right high and be proud of all the views that we have. <laughs> I am. Chin is in the air. See, you can't hear me properly. Chin is in the air. Um, but yeah, back to Bethesda. Uh, so yeah, there's Skyrim VR, there's Fallout 4 VR, which, again, doesn't look good. One thing that disappointed me at E3, we saw footage on a different thing. Um, uh, actually, no, it might have been Bethesda still. No, it wasn't. Ignore me. It, <laughs> it was footage of a new Metro game, basically. Now, you I don't think you've played any of the Metros. Basically, they're like if Fallout was done really well and set in Russia, it would be Metro. Um, and when they showed this footage, it looks fantastic, like really nice. But it looks like if Fallout was done by people who can see really nice things. <laughs> so, like, it's what I expected Fallout 4 to be. And that's when the disappointment really set in of how not Fallout 4 ish Fallout 4 is, if that makes any kind of sense. How have we played a lot of Fallout 4, have we? I've played about six hours, I think. So that's not a lot, really. It's not a lot, but it's, it literally feels that's like... That's a gaming session. Yeah, but it feels like Fallout 3 DLC. That's my problem. It doesn't feel like a new game. And it's on a whole new generation, whereas when you look at Metro and the gameplay on that, it looks like what I expected Fallout 4 to be, a new, fresh thing. That salesman at the beginning was good. Salesman? Oh yeah, he, the facial animations on the salesman, oof, second to none. But this is one of them things where the game world is weird, because everybody knows everybody and we actually... The video knew. game development world, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not the Fallout world. Yeah, and um, we knew the facial animation guy from Fallout 4, but we didn't realise we knew him yeah. until we were like, sorry that we're late hanging out. We were playing <laughs> Fallout 4. That yeah. game is amazing. It has really good animations. You should see the salesman. And he was like, I have. I animated him. Yeah. <laughs> what like, are the ads? Oh, 
I was about to have pizza with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were late because of you, exactly. so you should apologise to us. Exactly, and maybe he did. I don't know. He's, he's a nice guy. He might have apologised to us. Um, but yeah, back to Bethesda. Uh, yes, there was some Evil Within 2 footage. At first, I was like, I don't know what this game is. And then I think there was sort of snippets of gameplay in there, but overall, you couldn't tell much from it. So honestly, it would have been nice if Bethesda would have said, look, we've got nothing for you this year. <laughs> Because I'd have preferred to not have seen anything than to see what they showed me. Because all all them showing me that stuff did was disappoint me of the fact that it's nothing nice and special. You know, like, Evil Within 2, to have gameplay live would have been great. I, I know that live gameplay is kind of an issue with E3. There's always problems and stuff. You know um, what I would like? What? I would like to see somebody finish Evil Within. I mean, I know lots of people have finished Evil Within. <laughs> but the person I decided to watch play Evil Within, no... No. I'll f- I'll finish it one day. One day. So um, how's Siren Blood Curse treating you? Ter- terribly. It's very scary. <laughs> 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 um. So yeah. So overall, overall E3 good experience. Yeah. Um. Snippets went great. Things were awesome. Oh, the new Xbox was revealed. Uh, Xbox say, One X. Yeah, Xbox One X because they're stupid. Um. And the a, a few times I've had mentioned a problem that's definitely going to come up and since we are ex game station staff we know about the christmas gifters the people who don't know what they're doing they turn up and they say oh my grandson's asked for xbox and we go okay which one they go i don't know he said xbox but <laughs> would you like an xbox an yeah. xbox 360 an xbox this? one an exactly. xbox one s exactly. or an xbox one x and therein lies the problem the fact that people are going to be asking their parents or grandparents for xbox one s because it's uh, sorry, an Xbox One X. You just did it. I did. They're going to be asking them for an Xbox One X, which is like what, hundred, two hundred dollars more than the Xbox One S. But you know it's they're coming about back. About five hundred dollars more than it's worth. Probably. No, to be fair, I- I've got to hand it to them. It looks like a hell of a machine. I- as a game dev, I really am looking forward to working on them. You know, I once, when we were working in Game Station, yeah. sold some games and a console to a woman. Yeah. And she was buying for her husband. And she was like, he said he wanted a PlayStation. Can you get me a PlayStation? <laughs> I was like, yes, would you like some games? Said, yeah, I better get him some games. Otherwise, I'd be very disappointed on Christmas morning. What can you recommend? And I was like, well, this is a good Everything. game. Everything. <laughs> and I was like, well, what does he like? Let's, because I'm not one of these generic employees who was like, oh, I like this game, therefore everyone should buy this game. Yeah, you, I hate them when yeah. they push the favourites. Yeah. Somebody was complaining the other day because apparently his grandma or something went in um, and was like, he likes games like Dishonored. And they're like, well, well I can recommend Dishonored. Really? Really? <laughs> that. Okay, I get that there's two of them. So, okay. <laughs> He likes Dishonored. How about Dishonored 2? <laughs> kind of get that, but I'm pretty sure that's what she was saying, is that he likes the Dishonored yeah. series. Wax on, wax off with my hand there, Dishonored series. So yeah, anyway, I was, and she was like, oh, he plays music. I'm like, Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero is a good game. And she's like, I remember this sale. I was yeah, there. Right. I think I had to get this stuff from upstairs, you bugger. Yeah, yeah, you were a runner. I was a sales you son of a bitch. I remember <laughs> this. You beat me that day on the sales. And I'm like, Okay, so we have these guitar heroes. If you want to look at the back, it'll have track lists, see yeah. what kind of thing he likes. And she was looking at them and she said, oh, yeah, so which one do you want? And she was like, well, I'll get them all. And I was like, seriously, I've just showed you like <laughs> five guitar yeah, hero Yeah, because I remember we had so many so many different guitar heroes in at the time, pre-owned. They were lying on the top of the store, if you remember. They were on top of the shelves, like the PlayStation games. They were actually propped at the top of there, and that was empty after you'd finished with them. <laughs> and I was like, well... You can play this multiplayer. Do you want a second guitar so yeah. somebody can play with him? And she's like, yeah, yeah, get him a second guitar. You know how hard it was? Like, you were in front of the scenes. <laughs> I was behind the scenes. I was upstairs rummaging around the guitars, right? Do you know how much of a shit all a Game Station stock room was oh, for God, guitars? Oh, God, the DSs? The DSs is one thing, but the guitars, right? Not only have you got to find one that's semi decent, not covered in crap, not got the buttons sticky, not got stickers on it, right? But also one that comes with the freaking dongle. <laughs> Do you know how hard that was to find all that stuff? Yeah, and you were selling, about that. I was you were selling 40 of the buggers. <laughs> so, and then I'm like, and um, you could get this game. I like this game. Um, what does he like? And we literally was just going game and game. And I think you said to me at one point, the manager was like, she's just been stood there chatting to that customer for way yeah. too long. She needs to go and do some work. And didn't he walk near me, realise the conversation I was yeah. having and walk away? <laughs> yeah, I was looking thinking, he's not going to want to walk by that because he's got to see some magic. <laughs> This sale ended up about five hundred pounds. It was insane. It and took it was a while all pre-owned to stuff. It wasn't even like it was expensive. Yeah, that's a stuff. good thing. You you were being a genuinely good staff member that day. Not that you weren't normally, but I mean, 
think what what I'm saying is normally people who are pushing that kind of stuff, they're always going to try and push what makes them the most because they're trying to beat that day's sales target or whatever it is, or they're yeah. trying to win that that competition that day. Because sometimes there'd be competitions. You'd win. It was a, a competition yeah. that day. Was that and the one I with the Harry Potter it. train? No, that was um, Dead Island Riptide oh, God, special yeah. edition. Yeah, it was a company wide competition. That wasn't it? shows you how long ago I was working in Game Station. Yeah, it was. It wasn't even Riptide, was it? Was it, it just Dead, Dead Island? Island? I'm pretty sure it was a Dead Island special edition because Riptide. I'm sure that came out afterwards. My shift finished half an hour before the shops countrywide closed for yeah. the day and it was like a nationwide competition but we just decided to do one morning but like head office sent a message out for like whichever staff member sells the most in the company today yeah. wins this and i was kicking ass and left with half an hour to go went to my cinema shift because i was double shifting it you double know jobbing around Christmas double time. jobbing yeah and then the next day went in and i was like tell me one of the like somebody declared a better sale with like five minutes to go it's ridiculous isn't it how could that possibly happen to you how did we get onto that subject oh um dishonored no no i can't remember now buying shit buying, like shit. buying shit yeah we like buying shit but yeah overall e3 good experience but something else that's happened in the gaming world recently which got announced a couple of days ago although it was leaked a few months ago was the snes mini Nintendo yes. are releasing the SNES Mini. I heard, and yes. this could just be some shit that people make up online because they do all the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, that Nintendo was actually planning on announcing the virtual console for the Switch, and the wrong announcement went out, and that's what for the SNES Mini. The SNES Mini. Uh, may- maybe, but I-, I doubt it because. A game and everybody were prepared for pre-orders and things, and they don't just kind of have that thing in place. I don't know. We've dealt with game before. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I mean, <laughs> like like Smith's Toy Shop and stuff. Basically, the the retailers were prepared for the pre-sales to take the pre-orders and things, and for the stock and allotments and stuff. And that wouldn't really happen unless they had it planned. I mean, maybe it was planned next month. Maybe maybe, maybe they were both going to be planned, but within the same area, you know. But. Uh, yeah, a virtual console for Switch needs to happen soon. Well, we've already got the Neo Geo stuff on there. Yeah, I suppose, to be fair, that is like the rarest stuff, and those games were expensive. Talking of the Switch, yeah. Snake Pass is on sale. Yes, yeah, Snake Pass is on sale. Snake um, Pass I bought, like, a couple of days ago, for full price. <laughs> full price of, what, 15 Thanks, £16? Sumo pounds? Digital. <laughs> they were to no. Um... But yeah, yeah. So, oh, speak of the, the SNES Mini. That's right. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. SNES Mini. Back on track. Schizophrenia kicking in. Make her stop. Yeah, <laughs> SNES Mini. Um, stamp on her foot. Stamp on her face. No, no voice. No, not the face. It's pretty. <laughs> no. Um, one thing I was really happy to see, which I didn't know about, was the fact that Star Fox Two is finally going to get an actual release on the SNES Mini. Twenty five years after completion. Twenty five, and you know how the developers found out that it's going to get released <laughs> on Twitter when Nintendo said this comes with this. How they went, this? Oh, that's nice, <laughs> awesome. Twenty five years later, we finally get to see a bloody product. <laughs> so I, I mean, I'm I'm made up for them because. Wait, are they now putting this on their CV like well, they, they everybody can. worldwide? They legitimately can now because, <laughs> I mean, you you could anyway. I suppose if it was announced, you can. If it was released, you can say it was an unreleased game or whatever. Um, but apparently, one of my friends who is the, the game wizard, uh, he said that it has been available as a ROM um, for a while, but it's never had an official release. So this would be really nice. I'm so happy for them because now they can actually get sort of sales numbers and stuff for the game, which is going to be as many as the console. <laughs> I was going to say, but the console's got a, like a actually, finite amount. Yeah, I suppose. But do you reckon that would count towards sales numbers? Because I suppose Wii Sports did. I was going to say Wii Sports, like, kicked ass. Yeah, and that was a bundled game. And now technically this... Is it bundled if it's on the console? Does that count as the same thing, do you reckon? Because, mm. I mean, you used to get those... Yeah. You used to, back in the 90s... Like 25 in ones. Yeah, the 90s and the, the early 2000s it. was always, like, it was an N64 hollowed out controller. Because N64 was out of production, but all the Chinese factories still had the controllers. So they just fitted them with computers and went, yeah, there's 25 ROMs on that. Go nuts. What about when the Wii came out and everything was like, <laughs> this is the Wii, spelt like W-E-E. Yeah, or, or the, the connect the, the letters woo. together. The Wii, yeah. <laughs> You had a woo, didn't you? <laughs> I've still got one. It's got this Mega Drive games on it. It's the Mega Drive version. Sega coupled up with them, remember? I didn't know about that. It was an actual go. Mega Drive version. I've got it. Was it like from B&M? Yeah, B&M. Everywhere, basically anywhere cheap had them and they were awesome. <laughs> I was really glad for that because I remember, like I said, when I was younger, I had a couple of them because I used to live near a shopping centre in Brutal when I was a kid. And that's the kind of place where they always had a guy like in the middle of Came the foyer. Came the back of a van. No, no, it was legit people. In Bootle. 
Yeah, well, yeah, there's not many, but it, yeah, no, in the shops, the <laughs> Gary, Gary was legit. It Go was Dave. Gary. It was Dave. No, um, it, it was it was probably Gary. No, it was um, they had areas of them of like the mall kind of area where they had big open expansive regions. I didn't want to say area again. <laughs> I said expansive region, um, but anyway, <laughs> I don't want an idiot. What a dick. So yeah, anyway, they had yeah, they had stuff that they, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they had stuff that they were selling there. You know, things like you the, you'd see the guys at the carpet, um, the carpet Hoover test people. Do you ever? remember seeing them that have like that have a spread out bit of carpet never actually stain. seen one of them never in seen real them. life i've seen them on qvc yeah, and well, shop i saw them um, in real life and they were legit um but anyway in the same kind of places you'd have these guys who were selling the, the home consoles and the plug and play and they were great so i used to always get them whenever i see them because they were like a tenner and you got like 35 games on them um granted they were never the games they said they were um <laughs> like have i ever shown you the john tron episode there's one he did of um he bought a lot of these um sort of toy game whatever they're called um, he bought a bunch of them, and majority of them were fake games, or they were just called things. I think and blatantly... I've seen this. Yeah, they were just they were not the games they said they were. Like I'd say, Pac Man, it'd be like some sort of Pong ripoff or something. Um, but yeah, so the so the SNES Mini back on track. I'm great at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really not. The SNES Mini is coming out in uh, a few months, and we shall have one. I think it was September. It comes out. And we've got um, one pre-ordered yes, successfully. September. Yep, we have It's the back end of September, but I said it would be ideal for going in the suitcase for Japan because we're going to Japan in December. And so, I said no. But it's going in there. It'd be it's great. It's not going in there. You're be... taking the Switch. I know. You're taking the Switch. I know. You're taking the 3DS. You're taking the Vita. I'm you're taking, taking you. the Kindle. You're, you're taking t- up enough suitcase space as it is. You're taking your Samsung tablet thingy majig. Yes. Seriously, you do not need to take an as Mini. Yeah, that's pretty true. I can get the Famicom Mini was in there. You can. Yes. Okay. Done. Deal. We've. I've not shook it, but I'm pretending we have. So, my dear Charlie, my dear Charlie over there from Play Pause Review now on YouTube. Play Pause Review. Check it out. <laughs> my dear Charlie, what are you playing at the moment? I play um two games. Okay. Or three games. Three games. You bloody Going multitasker. Going crazy. You bloody woman. <laughs> um. When I am given a minute, yes. I am overwatching, as oh. I have been for the last year. Yeah, if you're breathing, you're probably on Overwatch. What's your level now at the moment? You're not a non-obsessive level? What, just 107? Well, you said that not. with such a dismissive look on your face. I've seen people like level 600 on there. Yeah, well, I've seen a lot of people on World of Warcraft that are pretty high levels. It doesn't mean they're successful people in life. <laughs> so, you have a job, remember? These are probably door lights who don't. <laughs> yeah, so um, I play Overwatch. Yeah. Currently playing Grime for an upcoming review. Ooh. Ooh. Insider scoops, people. Yes. Um, and Clicker Heroes. And what? What was that? Say it towards the microphone for me so people can actually hear you. Clicker Heroes. Okay, what in the fuck is Clicker Heroes, please? For those people <laughs> who have any kind of sense and haven't bought that game. I haven't bought it. You downloaded it. That's by... The, <laughs> we, the internet costs money. <laughs> Go on, what is it? Tell the people, because I, I, right, I've seen this game, I walk past, what, 20 times a day and you're playing I'll this piece of shit? I'll be making a cup of tea, oh, yeah. that's a lie, I never make Yeah, you never, I've got to say, you better take that back. I'll be doing the dishes, maybe, maybe. I'll be putting washing out. Yeah, she'll be doing something. And you'll be like, oh, computer's winning for I you. I said, Charlie, there's a ghost playing your game. Because, <laughs> like, this game, uh, like, in all seriousness, I do not understand what this game is. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't get how you play it, I don't get what you're actually doing when you are playing it. You click it. Yeah, but what click what for why but i've now bought so many upgrades that it clicks it for me so why play it what what is the point <laughs> <laughs> what you bought upgrades or they just come with the game they, they come with the game okay it's in game because money. you earn money right okay and then you buy stuff with your money so what what do you actually so do my heroes do the clicking for see me. to describe this game from an outsider's view because i have no idea what you're actually doing there's like on the left it's, the screen's in two halves it's basically it's not pg yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like flogging a dead seal than There's playing monsters. an RPG. This is literally more similar to seal clubbing than it is to playing an RPG. There's monsters, and you hit the monsters, and when the monsters die, they give you money. You can then use money to buy upgrades and heroes. Yeah. Heroes then hit the monsters for you. Monsters give you money. Money buys you heroes. Heroes hit yeah, the monsters. Yeah, but at, at that point, right on the first hurdle, you're no longer playing that game. You've achieved nirvana for that game you've got to ultimate calm neutrality you're not doing anything because you've done what you need to do the game is literally playing itself the game doesn't buy the stuff though so yeah but you've already bought the the money you've already bought the stuff i keep on paying for the upgrades (laughs) i don't get it it makes me sad if i don't pay for the upgrades it stays at the same level right making pitiful amounts of money yeah but if i buy better heroes it can make more money right more minis. But for what? Why? 
Like, is there an end to that game? Is there actual? Is there? Is there, are there any targets, for example? It's been updated twice while I've been playing it to make the end. That game's had away. updates. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the game? I, I like, okay. To make it longer. Okay, listen. I I would like to go further into this, but I I honestly can't. You I'm spiraling before, into a Heroes. pit of depression. This game exists. I played Adventure Capitalist. Oh Jesus, I forgot about that. Which was Clicker Heroes, but instead of killing monsters, you were just buying business. It was Fallout Shelter without the people. Fallout Shelter was good until I finished it. See, Fallout Shelter you finished had an Fallout end. Shelter. Yeah, you you fill up what your the hell shelter. Happens? You just fill up your shelter. And... So kill off the weak. Oh, don't worry. Well, no, but again, <laughs> at first, the first time a death claw comes in, you're like, oh shit. Yeah. And then you realise that actually you've got quite strong, and death claws don't even get in through the front door anymore without being annihilated, and then. There's no challenge. Yeah. Well, fair enough, then. I remember the first time I saw a death club. Yeah, I do. Uh, you you just took it on. You thought it was a rumour. I thought it was a rumour. Well, because back then, this was when Fallout 3 was good, because it was, it was a new Fallout. We'd never seen it like it. It was one of the best well, games we played in ages. Seen, yeah, it was like they, they, Fallout the first 2 Fallouts. had been like 10 years before. Yeah, that. on the PC, and it, it was a, it was a um, isometric... Before our time. It was an isometric RPG. It was one of those sort of 90s-style, sort of pseudo-3D looking things. Um, but yeah, Fallout 3 was awesome, but then I'd heard of Death Claws. I was working at a game at the time as a Christmas temp. That was my first Christmas temp job. And I remember hearing about it coming out and people were saying, oh, them, I've heard there's like a Death Claw thing in it. I was like, no, that's... It's like it was a rumour because it was a scary kind of game. It was and like then, a one hit and you're dead. Yeah, and then you literally in your first playthrough ran outside, ran towards the shopping mall area thing, and lo and behold, there's a big bastard. And you didn't see it. I didn't see and it. And I was like, Smith, just kill me. Yeah. And you were like, it'll just be a little spider thing or something. I was like, no, it said Deathclaw. And you're like, no. It did not say Deathclaw. You're right. just out and of the game. And I was like, I'll show you where it was. And then I ran back and there was another one. And you were like, I've been to this area. Yeah. There was no Deathclaws. Yeah. How have you spawned when, two? When I went there, excuse me, I got a hiccup. When I went there, there was a giant scorpion. And that's all it was. It wasn't, there was no sort of Deathclaw. I, I didn't understand that at all. Um, I was obviously playing hardcore because I was all stabby, stabby, stabby. Yeah, oh god, yeah, you went nuts on Biff. Was it Biff? I don't know. Butch, whatever. bitch. Butch. Not bitch. Butch. I think Butch. <laughs> I think it was Butch. You went nuts at Butch. Um, Stabbed everyone. Yeah, you killed Butch, used his knife to then kill his mum, who was I'm already in. being killed by cockroaches. Um, <laughs> and that, that was a crazy way to start that game. You killed, killed everybody. Everyone. Any security guard came on the corner, they were dead. <laughs> they got stabbed. If they moved, they were dead. If they were your friend, they were dead. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure you killed the overseer. Because well, the overseer's daughter I was your friend. everybody I yeah. found. No, the overseer's daughter was your friend. Yeah. You killed her dad and she wouldn't forgive you. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Um, so she had to die. Yeah, she had to die. She had to um, die. This, I couldn't leave any survivors. No. It's, I don't blame you, to be honest. It's, it's that they kind of game. They could have told somebody. Exactly. And you don't want anybody, any rumours getting out that you might have done yeah. survival. Now I was like... Ah, ah, somebody went nuts. They stabbed everybody, but I ran away. Yeah, ah. exactly, exactly. Um, so, yeah, Clicker Heroes. You tried track. to blow up Megaton. I did try to blow up Megaton, and I couldn't because I forgot it was a different save. I'd spent so much time preparing to blow up Megaton. I went to Tempany Tower. <laughs> I sat up top. I pushed that button. I waited for Charlie to be there, and I'd it, been waiting and weeks. We were, yeah, yeah, we were really busy about. I point. had been waiting weeks. We didn't live together at the time. We were both really busy. I think I was doing dissertation or something. I was working extra hours because you weren't making any money, and there you I go. needed yeah, to make money that was for it, us. Yeah. yeah, thank you, breadwinner. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so, and then I waited ages, literally weeks to see her, so she could come see this, and we got it all ready, clicked the button, and nothing. Before Let's Plays were a thing. Before Let's Plays were a thing. You wanted to show somebody something, you had to sit and wait. <laughs> you had to send a telegraph, <laughs> and wait for weeks, so they could write back saying, now I'm looking. Now we just share play? Yeah, now we can just do what we do, I say often, not often enough, but what we do. Um... But yeah, so I clicked the button and nothing happened. Because you had disarmed the bomb. I had disarmed the bomb and forgot because it had been so long. What else did you do in that same time frame with a game called Portal? <laughs> that wasn't that time frame, that was a different time no, frame. No, you were dissertation time. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, I accidentally finished Charlie's Portal 2. No, Portal. Portal 2. Portal 2. Uh, single player. Uh, <laughs> she wasn't happy and she still isn't. Yeah, you know, the loving girlfriend who you don't want to be like... You're doing your dissertation, but you get lonely, so she comes and just sits in your room and plays video games, so you're not on your own. And, yeah, she put a lot of time into Portal 2. <laughs> and then she went home one night, and as she was driving home, she gets a message from somebody saying, I don't know why you were saying that it's taken that long. I've just finished it. It only took me an hour. <laughs> and yeah. then I went back to his house in kind of a, 
I can't believe it. I'm going to have to really finish this really quick because I'm looking like an idiot here. <laughs> right? And I loaded and I'm going, what the hell's going on here? And it was the final boss. And I'm like, just instant death. Yeah. I was like, I have no... And he's like, you know this bit. This bit's for boss. You didn't tell me you're at the boss. And I was like, I'm not at the boss. Yeah, what had happened is Charlie was playing it at mine because she was nice. On my save. On her save. On my profile. When she'd gone home, she'd gone to the home screen on the PlayStation. You know, to, as you do. And then gone home. And I'd come back and I decided I was going to play Portal because I was done for the night. So I chose Portal on the screen and it put me back into Charlie's because I hadn't changed profile. And it was an easy enough mistake, you know. It's a long ago enough, I think. You can forgive me. You're not looking like you're going to. Never going to happen. <laughs> okay. Well, we've established... The cake was a lie. The cake was a lie that time. Uh, we've established I do not understand Clicker Heroes and probably never will. So I think it needs a play pause review. To try and clarify what the fuck it is. I don't think it needs to play. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got one minute on the on the reviews, roughly. Um, I don't think you could possibly explain what that is in one minute. <laughs> I, I think I did on this podcast. I, see, I don't think you Sam did. Samcast. Samcast. Sam exactly. Cast. Thank you. I forgot about that. Thank you. Samcast. Samaritan cast. Um, now, I am currently playing The Witcher 3 again. Decided to go back to it because there's a PSN sale where The Witcher 3 and both extension expansions and all 16 DLCs was 17.99 I think it was yeah which is an amazing Ridiculous price a good price because I've been waiting to get the two DLC uh, the two uh, expansions for so long but I didn't want to spend any money so I haven't which is fine you know they're just expansions I don't need you them you could have been playing Gwent but you haven't been playing Gwent yeah it's true Gwent isn't my favourite but um yeah so I got this because it has the expansions and stuff um now because it's the game of the year edition it doesn't let me use the saves for my original one which is kind of stupid but it also doesn't register my trophies, so I'm going to get some extra trophies. Trophies! Um, but this means I get to play the game again from the start, which I'm really, really looking forward to. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, now, are you looking forward to anything anything coming out soon? Any, soon. Anything on your on your radar for games? Obviously, I've got Nino Kuni on the radar. And how far off is that? I don't know. Soon, hopefully. I, because I've <coughs> avoided all the free stuff for fear of spoilers, I don't yeah. know when my game's out. It's well, out this year, um, and there's Mario Rabbids in August. Yeah. And there's a game before that. Overcooked! Overcooked is oh, coming yeah. to the Switch! Is it? Yes. So when's that you? Uh, either the end of July or the beginning of August, I can't remember. Right. But either way, we're getting it. Yeah, we'll get and it. And we're playing it. Okay. And I know it's already out on a whole bunch of other stuff, and we have all the consoles, so we could already have it, and we could already <laughs> we be playing could, it. But you know, when you get that new toy, you just want the extra bits. Don't yeah, you? because it can be on the plane, and we'll be overcooking. Well, that does sound like a good idea. Yeah. You know what I'm looking forward to, which is out very soon. Cool. The new, the uh, remake of Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. It's out tomorrow. Tomorrow is it? Tomorrow. I know it was out soon because one of our one of our friends who oh, works at the game shop took a picture of the stock. Out in the past. Yes. I don't know how podcasts out. work. What, what, how is you this? Know, <laughs> that's a good question. I think for this first one, uh, I'm going to probably put it on the YouTube page as a video with a still. Because uh, a lot of podcasts do that anyway as like a, another way of getting the audience. But, highly. Hi, yeah, highly. Uh, but what, what, what you're supposed to do is um, you make a website and you set up a, a feed with your podcasts on it. And then you basically, you do a whole lot of technical just bluff. And then once you've done all that just bluff, which is a new word, you go to iTunes and places like that and you register your link with them and they check it and say after 48 hours, yeah, you can come in our library and they'll add you to their thing. So we'll do that over time. So we're just taking over everything except for what people expect you to take over because like, we don't have an Instagram. Yeah, we don't yet. We, we should get one. What, what would we post? We'd take pictures of the games that we've just bought for the channel. Oh, you know, <laughs> That's we'd, like take, the we'd take pictures. Thing ever. You'd be surprised what people take pictures of on Instagram. It's ridiculous. I, I've never been on it. I've been on it. I check it maybe twice a year, which isn't a joke. That's literally how often I check it. Um, and it's yeah, it's 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 nothing. It's usually just somewhere people go. Uh, you know, after Facebook, like they'll put stuff on Facebook, but the same thing on Instagram, or vice versa, because Facebook owns both of them. So you know, it's kind of a. It could be like me with my Twitter v Facebook. My mum's on Facebook. My mum's not on Twitter. Yeah. So family friendly Facebook, Twitter. Yeah. Not see, family friendly, just Twitter. Yeah, I, I, that's that's actually yeah, that's what I do. Um, I was thinking I need to make a comedy um Twitter for my stand upy stuff. Because you could just try and be funny on your page. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, if I do jokes and things and things go a bit south and it's on my personal Twitter, I don't want to lose the name that I've got for my personal Twitter. <laughs> it's my Twitter. Um, 
But I, oh, oh. Because you're such an outstanding member no, 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 of the society. No, 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 I didn't mean society. name. I didn't mean name like reputation. I mean literally. Point is, you don't lose your job. No, 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 not that. It says on it, all views are my own. I will not lose my job because of Twitter. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. No, I mean like literally my, my handle, my, my Robo Chris H. I don't want to lose that because that's my everything he was on. Plugged. Yeah, plugged, plug, Robo Chris H. 80s hairlines, plug. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I did that. Um, now I was, I was until today. I was really looking forward to the micro machines, the new one, which I was so excited about because we know how fun micro machines what is. What happened to today? I saw footage of the new one. It's not good. <laughs> the you know, first one wasn't good, but that made it great. Yeah, but you know the way you know. Remember, for example, when you're riding, it's top down. You can't see very far ahead of you, mm-hmm. but it's still great fun. You mm-hmm. learn the track after a while. You kind of get where you're going. On this one, they thought it was a smart idea to zoom in even closer. <laughs> so not only can you not see where you're going, you can barely see where you are. It's really, <laughs> it's so close. And to the can pl- you see where you've been though? No, but also to add insult to injury, it's online multiplayer only, as far as I know. Which, they couldn't have took out couch co-op. No. They couldn't have. But the six- I hate that games aren't couch co op That's what I love about Jump Stars. Jump Stars. Yeah, it's a, proper, it's a proper party game, and I love it. And we're not just saying this because they sent us a copy, by the way. Just disclaimer. It's because it's proper couch co-op. Yeah, exactly. And it's really enjoyable. It's actually couch co-op as well. Co-op yeah. and compet. Yeah, exactly. Competitive cooperative game. I've never seen one of them before. Apart from Flat Heroes, that was really funny. <gasps> Ejects as well. Flat Heroes. That was competitive, cooperative as well, because you had to yes. help each other to avoid stuff. <laughs> and we were just killing each other, yeah. and the guy was like... The guy was like, do you want to help each other for a bit there? <laughs> you, you, you meant to co-op. Yeah, and exactly. And we're like, but we just like killing each other, and he went, we've got a mode for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we we accommodate your people, don't you worry. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, there's this Flat Heroes as well. Uh, what else did I look at? Oh yeah, the Micro Machines thing. So yeah, sadly, it doesn't look good. Um, I I was looking forward to it, but now it can go get bent. Basically, I, I I'm not, I'm not interested in it anymore. Um, I might get a demo. It might change my mind, but I highly doubt it. Apparently, the AI because I, I know I know pe- I, I know people in the know. You know what I'm saying? The AI apparently um is just horrific because it I don't knows want AI anyway. I just want my friend. Yeah, but I mean me. exactly. But I mean, if you're playing single player, it basically it always has to be for Nobody cars, cares. as far as I know. It has to be four cars. So if you're playing on your own, like I normally would, uh, three people, three AI cars will be playing with you. Now the problem is they know the track, so they can see where you can't literally. <laughs> so you, your screen cuts off. They know what's coming. So you just plow headlong into a jam jar, and they've turned the bend. <laughs> so it's like, and you, as you know, you lose if you go out the screen. So it's it's just impossibly difficult, apparently. No. So that's a shame because I really was looking forward to that. You know what game I'm enjoying? What? Tetris Puyo, a Puyo Puyo Tetris. Yeah, that's on the Switch. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm, I'm not, but that's because I'm terrible at them games. I know, and you won't play. But with you're me. really good at them games, so that's. I'm not really good. Oh, you are. I'm average. You're friggin' Rain Man level. Let's not joke about here. <laughs> I am average at Puyo Puyo Tetris, but you're a little bit shit. Well, yeah, I, I won't deny that. I'm pretty terrible at it. But if you keep on playing games with me, you'll get better, and then we can Puyo Puyo Tetris. So you think? But we've had the channel for a year and a half. <laughs> I ain't getting better. <laughs> I like Puyo Puyo Tetris. Yeah. I'm going to make you play that on like all the flights to Japan. No. I, I will literally jump out the plane. Well, we're getting some um, some very nice person is sending us some stuff for our Switch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're doing a review, aren't you? So. We're doing a review of um, rubber, basically. Silicon covers. Silicon covers. <laughs> um, and it's got thumb grips, so... Maybe that will up your Tetris game. Honestly, it might do because I I like the Switch controllers, but I do find them very fiddly, uh, very fidgety. Sorry. So the sticks are so sensitive that I think if you add a bit of height with the silicon, it might give me a bit sort of longer. It has different levels of height. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, they've included like so many little bits. But um, I'm quite looking forward to my package. Yeah, they're quite cool. So we'll update you on that next time we do one of these, which we are going to do again. I think. Paw print from stick grips and yeah. Yeah. So. I think right, we're coming up to an hour almost, believe it or not, which is really good. I don't really think good. I've ever spoke to you for an hour. I don't think I've spoke to you. What's your name again? <laughs> I recognise your face. I'm looking at bits of mechanising. This um, is eaten into valuable Coronation Street time. 
There is no such thing as valuable Coronation Street time. That shit is worthless. I mean, you owe me a cup of tea, some digestive <laughs> biscuits. I can't even say on the air what things you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> I can, but I won't. Um, so, have you had a good time? Poyo, poyo, Tetris, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I remember Special Rules Thud. That ain't happening. Uh, <laughs> so, have you had a good time on this uh, first LPG Tube podcast? It's okay. So, how often are you thinking of making these? Honestly, I don't tell know. Tell people. I don't know. Um, <laughs> if I tell people, I'll be locked in into it yep. um i'd say at least monthly monthly i'd prefer weekly but that's quite an undertaking although to be fair if we do it old school literally cut the beginning and end off sticker on youtube jobs are good and then that'll be fine weekly because we can chat we live together we don't mind each other we'd run out of gaming news we would have to move on to other stuff yeah well see we've got some stuff we could also talk about past stories for example i was doing a bit of research last night for some stand-up stuff um and i bumped into news about that do you remember the resident evil composer Mm-hmm. who pretended to be deaf. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 18 years, he pretended to be deaf for. And he had a ghost composer. He wasn't even the guy that wrote the music. So the, there's a guy, honestly, I swear this is real. The guy who did the music for Resident Evil... What are you, bastard? <laughs> <laughs> she did a deaf joke on me. Eh. I just slapped her on the leg. <laughs> She's laughing her little ass off. You didn't get it. I know I didn't because I felt... You can't for that thing. You know, I was engaged in the conversation. I was being a good podcast co-host. I was looking you in the eye, talking your story. Your eyes are watering with laughter. I'm like, what's she laughing at? Oh, shit. I fell for the old deaf joke. Well, screw you. I'll save that story for next time. Uh, speaking of next time, um, we should get, we should plug the channel and stuff again. So, remember, LPG Tube. Before we do that, yes. is this a generally geeky podcast? Or what, what are people expecting from this in future? This was a taster episode. Taster what? episode. Yeah, I think uh, I don't I don't know. See what the see what the audience uh, whatever wants. Whatever crap we come out with. Pretty much, but I think it'll be. I think the idea should be to focus on gaming in general, gaming news and stuff. But that could always lead to a tangent in geekery, or no me, it'll lead to a tangent in comedy in some way, or it'll lead to some sort of weird tangent to Japan like we normally do. Or what happens in Emmerdale, or you know. Uh, yes, you could have <laughs> Charlie's Corner, like Steve's Cheats Corner in Eight Go Eight Bit DLC. No one wants it, but it's there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's a good right, idea. So yeah, yeah, go on, plug, plug Okay, away. so yes, so this will be the outro, folks. So. Uh, yeah, youtube.com forward slash LPG Tube. LPG stands for Let's Play Games, for those of you who don't know. Not Liquid Petroleum Gas. Exactly, and you remembered. Good job. Um, <laughs> oh, she clicked. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a horrible noise. I'm never doing that again in my life. Um, yeah, so we've Didn't got that. Do you really know you liked clickers? I do not. They're horrible, mushroom headed bastards. Um, yeah, so we've got a Twitter as well. So if you have any comments or any sort of questions or. If you just want to plug, I don't care. I'll, I'll say you, I'll say your name on it. If you want to troll us, call us ugly bastards, even though you can't see us. You could say we have a face suitable for radio, and we will say we agree. This is a podcast. Uh, so yeah, Twitter is um, at LPG Tube. We have Facebook.com forward slash LPG Tube. I think you've seen a theme here. Basically, anything slash LPG Tube probably leads to us. And if you're bored of him, then you can just come and see me at Play Pause Review. Oh, look at that selfish little plug. Yeah, Charlie's at Play Pause Review. Go check out Jump Stars and possibly another one by now. I don't know. I don't have a custom URL. Yeah, she's, to go to she's a filthy present with two subscribers. So five. She, five. Five. Wow, you got people. Yeah. L- real people. Well done. Let's be honest, I'm expecting it to be like you and maybe some people that work with you. No, I I subscribed. I subscribed from our channel, and that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's cool. Good job. Um, um, so, oh, uh, we on. have we have Lee. Lee told me he subscribed. Lee subscribed. Ah, uh, super fan Lee. Awesome. Yeah. That's very nice. Thanks, Lee. Um, <laughs> Lee also has a channel, so let's plug Lee, since we're talking about plugging people and stuff. Uh, Space Raiders HD on YouTube and Twitter. Go check him out. He's a funny guy. He's gonna. He said he's gonna start getting back into doing YouTube, so that's nice. We might have him on one day. Spoiler alert! That'd be cool, Lee, if you're listening. Because um, we could do stuff like that. We'll, I'm sure. do we'll find a way. Yeah, we'll find a way. Or even like a Skype thing. You know, we could. Because I'm planning at some point. I should explain what I'm planning for this podcast. You can play Battlegrounds, we. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah, we can play Battlegrounds. But no, I'm expecting we should do Skype interviews and stuff like that at some point with people. Uh, we could speak to people from other channels, for this example. This is the longest outro ever. People don't give a shit. People, uh, it's it's not technically an outro because I'm still just adding bits. <laughs> All right. Anyway, see, I've I've told him to cut it off for you guys. Told okay. Him to cut it off. Okay. Well, my enthusiasm got in the way. Yes. So, all right, we'll decide what to do for next episode, but you asked in the direction of the podcast, so that's what I was doing. Um, <laughs> so, you asked forgive me, I was answering you your question. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, yeah, okay, I think we'll leave it at that then. So, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, if you've got through this far, 
if you got through to this far, if I put my, tongue, my teeth back in, um, thank you. It's been really nice, and it's been nice chatting to you, and I might see you again at some point, Charlie. Yep. Uh, you all right? Downstairs at the kettle. Maybe. You making, not me. Yeah, okay. All right, so yeah, thanks for listening, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.